The emergency meeting of the NIC, North Idaho College Trustees, on Monday, April 24th, was perhaps the most bizarre circus of a meeting I've ever seen in my life. It proves that the rated and vetted of the Kootenai County Republican Central Committee, they're ideologically pure, but they couldn't run a lemonade stand. Monday, April 24th, was when they had their emergency meeting. It actually started at 5.30. I got there a little early, early enough to see these Banducci supporters. Now, when you're a racist or a white supremacist or even a self-professed Nazi, you will cover your face in public. But here they are holding up signs. That's how the meeting started. Yes, there are Banducci fans out there, and apparently the Central Committee, which closely allies itself with white supremacists and Aryans and all the dregs of society. That's what you get from these people. Anyway, the meeting was supposed to start with an executive session. Uh, This wasn't broadcast. It's not available on YouTube. It wasn't put out to the Zoom people. I do have the audio, and here are the audio highlights, starting with uh, this attempt by Mr. McKenzie to start the meeting. This meeting is being called to order. Um, it's been already a very long weekend, and it's very much into the next day. Sorry for the delay. It was a little bit of an educational experience learning about the entire safety of the crowd. What he talks about there is safety of the crowd. Now, he approached the Coeur d'Alene police officer who was there to monitor the meeting, and he asked the cop specifically, Can I have people, will you eject people from the room? And the cop said, no, I will not remove anyone from this room unless they break the law. And he actually, McKenzie went up to the cop four times throughout the meeting asking to remove people. And the cop said, no, hooray for the Coeur d'Alene Police Department. But I got to tell you, these thugs, they do not respect your rights. They don't even know how to run a meeting. Let's continue. We stand and... Start with the pledge, or should we go and talk about executive session? Or? All right, let, please join us for the pledge. Please. This is this is very difficult, and obviously I'm, I'm running off the cuff, but we're actually going to sit down. Uh, we're going to go, I'd like to stick with the agenda uh, as we uh, have it, I believe. Uh, no, we'll, 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 uh, so. so we all got to stand up, and then he changed his mind, and we all got to sit down. Uh, I can't even. So it, it does appear that we have multiple agendas. Uh, for tonight, um, I'm wondering which one is the one that I should be having because I feel like if there's two here, ideologically pure, administratively incompetent. Remember, all these people are the same, and they want to destroy those institutions they're running for, just like the little twerp is trying to destroy or has succeeded in destroying North Idaho College. You know, uh, so let's just talk about this as a board. Um, does anyone have any preference on the original or amended agenda for tonight? And uh, I think Trustee Zimmerman. Zimmerman, thank you very much. I'm, I'm trying to get that right. They've been working together for over six months, and he still doesn't know Zimmerman's name. In fact, later on in the meeting, he called her Corkill. So, uh, you know, this, this guy, seriously... There's something wrong upstairs. The gas is on, but there's no pilot light. And uh, she tried to amend the agenda to pull her item off because there were two agendas. Again, they don't know how to run a meeting. They have no clue what's going on. Um, And they wouldn't let her pull the item off. It was insane. And they probably spent eight minutes on this topic where if you had a competent leader, they could have said, uh, Trustee Zimmerman, would you like your item pulled? Okay, well, I'll, we'll pull that. Unless there's an objection, we'll pull that. It would have taken 20 seconds. Not with these clowns. Well, did you modify me, Jay? Everyone's quite hypersensitized about open meeting laws these days. I mean, that's what we're trying that's to hear. Yeah, the, the fourth one, we just want to make sure it's right. I think it's prudent to actually uh, rely on uh, legal counsel and, and to reach out to them, as I hope that we've been doing. Yes, let's reach out to the same legal counsel who was sitting his ass in a chair 
when you had two open meeting law violations, the guy's clueless. Uh, Cucumber has no frickin' idea what an open meeting law violation is. In fact, this was a special meeting. According to Idaho Code, they have to announce at the start of the meeting, which they didn't, they have to announce at the start of the meeting what the special or emergency situation is that made them call a meeting with 24-hour notice. We've done this many times at the city, and usually we open the meeting and we say, we just found out about this, uh, there's someone who's, who's suing us, or uh, there's something that happened in the city and we need to get together and make a decision. You usually open with the emergency. You have to declare the emergency. They failed to do this with, of course, Cucumber sitting there on his ass getting paid $350 an hour the whole time. Guy's an incompetent boob. But there's more. Would any of the trustees like to go into executive session? I mean, personally, uh, we've all had time to uh, review the material provided by Attorney McNamara. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not necessarily thinking it's needed, but... They routinely abuse executive session. Um, and, and it's not the job of the chair to say, does anyone want to do this? The job of the chair is to follow the agenda and say, the next item is executive session. Uh, I need a motion to enter executive session. That's all. This dithering idiot has no clue what they're doing. Further, they're supposed to cite the specific reason why they go into executive session. You have to read Idaho Code, and you have to cite which category of the many variety of things you can go into executive session for. You have to specifically say, we're going in under D or B or E. These are all valid concerns, and you explain that's what it is. Um, and, and, of course, in a, in a general sense, the trustees have demonstrated that they don't even know what executive session is for. Uh, they think it's for discussing things that they are quite honestly, they are doing illegally. They don't want the public to know what's going on, so they want to keep it secret, and they use executive session as a blanket to cover up these these acts, which they don't fall under executive session. A person, you talk about an employee, you can cover that under executive session. The employee's position is not something that's covered under executive session, and I believe that's why they wanted to go into executive session, because they want to prevent President Swain from hiring someone in a specific position. We don't know which position, because they're not telling us because again they they don't know anything about executive session and if they had a competent lawyer maybe they would oh, yeah. yeah hearing from legal counsel and discussion amongst board members regarding personnel and at the discretion of the chair with personnel so board secretary you have that one more time just for you hearing from legal counsel and discussion amongst board members regarding personnel and at the discretion of the chair with personnel they weren't able to go into executive session because you need four of the five to vote on executive session, a two-thirds majority, and trustees Corkill and Zimmerman refused. So we wasted 15 minutes of our lives. You at home were spared. Of course, there's an entertainment value. Uh, coming up next in the next video, which I will provide a link for when it's ready, um, we'll go into the uh, three probably most disastrous things that happened at the meeting pretty much nailing shut the coffin on NIC and showing that Todd Banducci, Greg McKenzie, Mike Wagner, Art McOmer, Brent Regan, and the entire Kootenai County Republican Central Committee have now shuttered NIC. It's probably going to happen, but we need to remember where the blame lies. See you in the next video.